All right, let's look at this uh, coordinate geometry question here. Now, uh, for a coordinate geometry question, uh, which involves a straight line, y okay, equals to mx plus c. All right, what we know is m is the gradient, okay, and the c here, or the constant, is the y-intercept. All right, now, if I were to draw this line here, y equals to 2x, plus 5, all right, let's uh, see how to, uh, how it will look like, okay. okay. So the y-intercept here, okay, is 5. So at the point when y is 5, let's say it's here, is where it cuts the y-axis, and the gradient here is positive. So when the gradient is positive, we know that it's going to slope upward. So this is a positive gradient. This is a negative gradient. All right. So the line will look something like this. All right. Where does it cut here? Where does it cut over here? So this is the x-axis. So at this point is where the uh, y value is 0. All right. So if I were to say 2x plus 5 equals to 0, x will be equals to negative 5 over 2. Alright, so the coordinate over here is a negative 5 over 2, 0. Here is 0 and 5. Alright, this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. Okay, so I'm just showing you how uh, this line would have uh, looked like if you were asked to uh, do a sketch of it. Alright, now let's look at the question. The question says find the equation of the line which has the same gradient. All right, when they say same gradient, what does that mean? Okay, so this is the important thing. When you say that two lines have the same gradient, it means that they are parallel to each other. Okay, they are parallel lines. All right, so the other line is going to have the exact same slope, okay, as this, but we do not know exactly where it is going to be. All right, but what we do know is it passes through the point 3 and minus 4. Okay, so it passes through the point 3. So let's say this is uh, maybe 3 here. Okay, and minus 4. Minus 4. So it passes through this point here. Okay, and now that I know that the line has to um, have a similar gradient to this, I can roughly say that the line is going to look something like this. Okay, it's going to look something like this. Okay, but now I need to find the equation of the line. Alright, so what do we know? We know that both these lines have the same gradient, which means that the this new line here also has the straight line equation y equals to mx plus c. And since the m is known as 2, the gradient, okay, uh, so the gradient over here is also 2, 2x plus c. Alright, so the only thing left for us to find is this c which is the constant okay how do we find this c okay i'm going to show you two methods to do it the first is uh, directly substituting the points 3 minus 4 and finding this unknown variable c okay so let's do that first so if i were to substitute this inside i get minus 4 equals to 2 3 plus c minus 4 equals to 6 plus c minus 10 equals to c all right so now that we have found c we know that the final equation is y equals to 2x minus 10 okay so that is your answer here all right there is another way to approach this uh, there is a there's a formula actually for the straight line equation which is uh, y minus y1 equals to m x minus x1 all right so the y1 and x1 are the coordinates that are given which is 3 and minus 4 here all right and what we need to do is we need to substitute them inside here okay together with the m so what i have is y minus y1 which is minus 4 equals to m which is what we know is 2 
and x minus x1. x1 is 3. Okay, so I get y plus 4 equals to 2x minus 6. So y equals to 2x minus 6. The plus 4 go over becomes minus 4. So minus 6 and minus 4 become minus 10. Okay, so you can see that I get the same answer. So these are just two different ways to get the same uh, solution, which is to find a line with the same gradient, the equation of the line with the same gradient as what is already given here. Okay, so I hope uh, with this explanation, uh, it is clear how to solve this question here. Alright, thank you.